This is your vault keeper. Got a little investigation video I wanted to show y'all. In this video, I talk about the left side of something. I meant to say the right side. You'll see. I don't want to give it away. And it's always sweet nightmares. <laughs> Okay, folks, this is your vault keeper. Well, rule 101 of trying to film an investigation. Make sure you turn the camera on. I'm sorry I meant to film coming in, but your vault keeper is running on very little sleep and I forgot to cut the camera on, I'm sorry. We're back at the logging site. You can see the logging equipment there in the background. Right there is where I came in at. They're dragging back up this way. Uh, I'm following a trail. Now, right here at this little creek side, right up here is a little dirt burn. If you can tell, you can see it right there in the video. His skitter driver, which is right there, I'm trying to get him to do an on-air interview, seeing two creatures what he calls them. He didn't call them Bigfoot, he didn't call them Sasquatch. No, he said two creatures. He said one was smaller than the other and the bigger one was actually down on like it's, it wasn't all the way on its knees, but it was on its like its hands and knees like a adult would try to go across the floor playing with a child. And the smaller one was almost like he said on its belly and they were trying to crawl up. There's a brush pile right right there and he said it looked like they were trying to crawl up to the back side of that brush pile and was like they were watching well there's a trail that comes right through here that i'm on and you can see it goes right through there how i realized i did not have the camera on is i went to talk to y'all and realized i'm not recording so here we go again sorry about that again y'all Something has the leaves kicked up a little bit. I don't see any. That might be a slight impression right there. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot. I see, look, there's a trail right there. See how wide these trails are? This one here. And how you can tell is, look at how stuff is broke up really high see that stuff like that is what you need to be looking for you see how the ground is walk flat down deer don't do that and right there the ground's been scuffed that's a pretty good scuff might be a little bit of toe impression right there can't really tell. Several days old. But like I said, all this has been pushed down flat. It was this way. Now the guys will not get off their equipment while they're down here. They've done seen too much and heard things and I haven't heard anything yet I'm looking for tracks and marks and stuff in the ground I just see stuff like this that looks like it could be a hill toe I, the leaf litter is so bad but look right here see this I'm trying to get it focused in the camera. Uh, there we go. This has been broke, but it's been broke a while. And I can't get nothing to focus. Yeah, that's been broke up there. I see some other broke stuff. And I see a limb broke up really high right in there. I'm going towards that. Wait. Hey, y'all. Uh, 
Oops, sorry about that, y'all. Right here. This has been pushed down. And you don't see any other tracks nowhere. I want you to look right here. There's mud on this. Not mud nowhere there. There. There's mud right here. I don't see nothing here. Okay. There we go. I'm going to clean this out for y'all. This is why tracks are very hard to find, especially in this kind of environment. Got to know what to look for. Mostly it's what's out of place. See the mud here? Now look. Toe, toe, toe. Think that's toe? But look how wide. What it did was its foot hit here. Back of it didn't land. And we're gonna measure this. I got smart on Lakea actually made me start carrying something I didn't think I'd need that way people can get a better judge of how big something is one of these now that's the longest point and see there's mud right back here so We're going to call that 14. We're going to go from the edge, laying in it, to it works, looks like where it was disturbed on the front. That's seven. And that's actually the shortest point. Now, do you see that? Let me get in there where you can see. There's a toe mark toe mark and what I find really interesting is look the toes are not exactly even it's like when it stepped and it pushed down on this it caused the foot to flex what you would expect and they shift it it's what caused a large berm up here now what we need to do Let's look around for another foot track. That with it, I'm going to say that's the left. What the hell is the right foot? I do see moss missing right here. I wonder. If it didn't stand right here because there's lens broke right over there that's what got my attention to go this way I think we got lucky on that see it's hard in this leaf litter see right here is an impression pretty good size but you can't really tell and see how the stuff is kicked back right here that's what I tell people it's not as easy as you think try to track something through stuff like this you see this has been broke you've got limbs right in front of us this broke That's where we're going Look. that is broke right there y'all show you something that's as high as I can stick the camera right there and that's broke see that's broke here look here 
This stuff is broke, so there's the other end of it. Back up. See, there's one end dangling, and the other end is... It's hard to make this stuff show up on this camera. I dumped my other camera into water, y'all. So I'm having to replace it. I do see some... Can you see that? Scuff up. It looks like something went that way. And as long as that foot is, I'm going to say this sucker's going to have a six to seven foot span. It looks like there's an impression right there. Go straight back up this way. You see, look, nothing's been disturbed here. I don't like nothing's been disturbed over here. And that's truly, you can see the leaves, they're kind of misshaped, shoveled and stuff. Going straight back up this hill. The biggest problem with this is right here at the bottom of this hill is another landowner that the logger hasn't signed a contract on this right here yet. This ditch right here is actually what they consider the border, but I think the hillside is at the bottom of the hill is what he told me is actually if you go by GPS. I don't want to get him in trouble. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back this way and see what we can find. I know there's not any sign it doesn't look like back this way. There is this way, but I wanna see sometimes they circle. Now deer, this is deer. Let's see how this is under. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop this up and you'll see what I'm talking about. See how the leaves are roughed up? Deer will walk into stuff like that. It's kind of like cover to them, but it's not really cover. Well, I just heard something back that way. It's hard to hear over this freaking equipment. And I do not like that. Tell y'all what. I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to wait till later this evening. When they have left. And it's quieter. So I can hear. But I don't want to walk up on. If this is a Bigfoot. Or, I don't think that's Dogman. Because I didn't see any claw marks in it. I think it's just Bigfoot. I don't want to walk up on anything and spook it because that may not be a good idea. So we're going to back out of here and wait till late this evening. And see, I thought I heard something again, but I can't tell. Okay. See y'all later, folks.